And then finally, I just wanted, I don't want to open to questions without at least saying a word about Iraq. You know, you look at what's happening with America's reputation in the world, it's been destroyed, completely destroyed. And everybody thinks we're a bully and we're selfish. To me, it seems to me we've got to end the damage and do some good again. Ending the damage is really pretty straightforward. We end this mess of a war in Iraq, and it needs to be ended. The first day that I'm President of the United States, I will close Guantanamo, which I think is a national embarrassment. We will stop illegally spying on the American people. No more secret prisons, no torture. It's amazing that you actually have to say these things, isn't it? I mean, everybody would have assumed all these things. Uh, and then we have to do some good in the world. And there are lots of things. We need to lead on stopping the genocide in Sudan and Darfur. America needs to lead on stopping the spread of HIV AIDS. Leading and helping educate 100 million children in the world who have no education. There are some very direct things that we need to do. I've personally done some humanitarian work in Africa over the last few years. And just clean drinking water and sanitation would make a huge difference in stopping the spread of disease. So I think there are huge opportunities for America to do great things for ourselves, for the rest of the world, to make America what it's capable of being. But I want to say this to you because we really need, desperately need honesty from the President. These changes... These changes will never happen just by the President of the United States. That's a fantasy. It will never happen. How many presidential candidates have come through here and said, elect me, I'm going to go to Washington and solve your problems? Right. What we need is we need you. Everybody has to be involved. Everybody has to take responsibility. The power to change this country, and we need change in the worst kind of way. My campaign is a campaign for change. It's very simple. But I can't change this country alone. I wish I could, but I can't. You know, Elizabeth and I have obviously made a decision about what we want to spend our lives doing, even though we've faced with some challenges. But I'd be willing to bet everybody here is faced with some challenges. We're no different from you in that respect. But we want to change this country. If you want to change this country, we need you involved. And I'm not talking about this political campaign. I'm talking about taking responsibility for your country. I'm talking about, we remember the famous John Kennedy speech, his inauguration speech, ask not what your country can do for you, it's what we need again. We need you to take responsibility. We need you to take action. We do. And I, in the words of, uh, para to paraphrase Gandhi, you've got to be the change that you believe in. You can't stay home and hope somebody else is going to do this for you. You can't. I listen to Bush and Cheney, it's not much. But occasionally I listen to them, and, and I hear they, this is what I hear them saying. You tell me if you hear the same thing. You stay home. Go shopping if you need to, but we're going to take care of you. I don't want them to take care of me. That's not America. We don't go cower in the corner. We are strong, brave, courageous people, and we're going to go out there and do what needs to be done, and together, you look at the change that's happened in this country's history. I grew up with the Civil Rights Movement. I know where it happened. It didn't happen in the Oval Office. It happened with good people who had some backbone and courage. The same thing happened in the movement to end the war in Vietnam. You can feel the same thing happening on this war in Iraq right now. If we want to change this country, we need you, all of you. We need you involved. We need your voices. We need your help. Your country needs you. And together, we're going to bring about the change this country needs. Thank you all so much for coming, and I'll be happy to take questions.